Toothbrush. Check. Wet wipes. Got them. I wonder where Aaron is. I won't see him before I leave on my secret mission. Shame I kinda like the sexy scratch building dude. Oh well, I'll be back before he knows it. Let's get on with the show. Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, Terrain by Aaron. So this week um, I've been circling around this one for quite a while now and decided to finally give it a go. And it's basically, I'm going to make my own take or my own version of a Star Destroyer. So I'm going to need some foam board and some cardboard and a lot of hot glue. Let's start scratching that build. So to start things off, I've just made a uh, triangle out of the foam board and then what I'm going to do is cut out some like little notches in the side of it. Um, this is basically just to give it a little bit more interest and going by the picture, they have lots of these on their Star, Star Destroyer. So, uh, so yeah, so that's what I'm just doing, just marking out where I want to put the notches and then uh, <laughs> look at me using a ruler. Oh, I'm very professional. Not. So here I'm just going to start cutting out the notches on the uh, in the foam board, and uh, I think I went through about five blades because this foam board certainly blunts the blades uh, very quickly. So uh, always helps to have a fresh blade at hand, um, so then you get the nice clean cuts, like so. Then, because I'm a sadist and I like doing this sort of stuff to myself. I decided that I wanted to put lights inside this uh, spaceship so I did about 5mm uh, beading and uh, stuck that down all the way around uh, which will become apparent later on um, because then I will put the holes into that beading uh, again from foam board uh, so I could place the lights. Uh, the light pack is uh, just cheap and cheerful, uh, just needs a couple of batteries. But there was um, there were like this small little uh, glass um, buds, um, so it was easier just to uh, get it placed around the uh, spaceship. Uh, so here I am, just struggling, trying to get uh, you know a scratch build, and uh, I still can't get into battery packs. I I, oh, I I just don't know what's wrong with me. Anyway, managed to find the right batteries and stuck them in and just to quick test yes everything works so um, put that back on and I'll worry about trying to hide the backpack later but for now I'm just gonna slowly make a hole and push the lights into the foam board and then came the tedious part of me cutting out five mil bits of uh, cardboard strip to then place onto the um, foam beading all the way around. This was simply because I knew I was going to use a rattle can to uh, spray this uh, bad boy and um, I wanted as much of the foam board covered with cardboard so then um, it wouldn't peel off uh, once I hit it with some Mod Podge um, because I know I've done it in the past where I've used a rattle can and it's melted the foam board. So this was just basically protecting the foam board and um, so yeah, uh, all the way around. And then to give the edge a little bit more interest, I stuck some um, beads on and then cut up little strips and circles of cardboard and stuck them all along the edge just so it gave it that sort of different um, texture. As you can see, focus, focus. There we go. Getting bored with cutting little pieces of cardboard up, I then thought of the brilliant idea of cutting down some old sprues and bits of wire and stuck them to the side as well, which added more texture to the um, Star Destroyer. Realising this uh, foam board was white, I uh, just quickly painted the inside of it so then the light would reflect back out 
and wouldn't be lost inside so I did that I waited for it to dry and then went on to stage two stage two was basically uh, comprised of me bulking out the wings which was uh, covering everything with the cardboard and then sticking more thicker cardboard down just to give it the raised edges um, like you see in the um, Star Destroyer pictures I found this random lump of well it wasn't a lump it was a sheet of um, I think it's picture backing board or something uh, which was ideal so I just did that for both sides of the wings just cut out various shapes and stuck them down now because there was no real plan and I hadn't really thought about it I was just going with the flow um, you're gonna notice that mine now looks like a chalk a chalk a block of cheese um, so the second tier is kind of wider because I was gonna stop there but I didn't wish I did but I didn't because uh, I had lots of lights to uh, use so um, so this second tier is uh, thicker but uh, in the end I think it came out all right uh, there's me struggling at the moment with all the uh, lights um, I, again I make holes in this um, this tr uh, trim uh, and just stick a load of uh, lights on it now these are all my sprues various bits of kit and everything that I'm going to use to stick to the side of the uh, spaceship uh, this is me just putting a hole into the uh, foam board so I can stick the light into it it's all technical stuff didn't hurt my fingers once or cut myself which was amazing um, so yep yeah, it was easy to bend was this wire with the lights on it and just hot glued it into place now this is the third tier of um, the Star Destroyer going on and um, I pre did all the edging uh, because I'd learnt from the first two to get everything done straight away so luckily I'd taken a template of it and uh, everything fitted just nicely now I'm just mapping out where I want the lights to go and um, you know strange this is where usually George pips in and um, says like and subscribe to the channel I wonder where George oh I wonder where George has gone it's very strange okay anyway back to the show so I had to use a um, highlighter pen because I could not see the uh, pencil lines with that uh, I still can't get over me using a ruler this is the one build that I've only used a ruler so much in my life anyway so the reason why I'm doing this is so then I can score make a tiny little groove using the um, uh, hobby knife so then I can push the lights down into the foam board so I'm not cutting all the way through it it's just a light little score and then once the uh, lights are in I'll just use the um, super glue which is a gel so I know this stuff won't melt the foam board um, so the super glue will just uh, sit on top of the lights and um, make them stick and once all the wire was stuck down um, just do another test just to make sure nothing's broken that's the state of play with the sides of the uh, Star Destroyer I've just added lots of different uh, greeblies and stuff like that um, then it was on to covering this wire which was again using some of the um, uh, picture backing board oh hang on I'm gonna need another there we go so uh, if you notice I'm using two hot glue hot glue guns uh, this one has a higher temperature and the other one um, not so high temperature so this one burns fingers the other one doesn't burn fingers so just stick that on top just to cover the wire and hopefully if my measurements are right then it won't have covered the lights and I'll still have the yes there we go success now it's on to slowly building the uh, bridge of the Star Destroyer and again I'm just uh, beading off everything with uh, strips of cardboard um, just getting it all ready and then I came up with the ingenious idea of using EVA foam um, 
I don't know why I thought of it but I've got a lot of it so what I started doing was just panelling and just lightly scoring the top um, so it would bring out the panels once painted and this is just me sticking everything down to try and get um, the holes correct so then the lights will shine through the top bit so let's see if I got this right put that on and hopefully it will match the holes with the lights uh, get everything down I think the EVA looks well with the uh, lightly scoring of the panels and yep there's the lights uh, and there's the start of the paneling so I thought I'd show you this bit how I did this and it's just quite simply a uh, sharp hobby knife just lightly scoring a few times making lines where you think uh, there'll be panels and then what I do is I go back over it with a pencil just to uh, widen those grooves in the uh, in the EVA foam works well well I think so anyway Now I'd spent that much time on the uh, actual spaceship, hadn't really thought about the back end and hold my hands up and say it's still not finished when you see the final product because I still think the back end could do with a little bit more work to it. But I'd spent about 40 odd hours on this uh, model for the entire week um, and I was getting a bit, uh, not bored with it, but uh, frustrated. So uh, this is going to be the engine. Um, what I'm going to do is these are uh, this is a bottle light. Um, again, I'm just hot gluing into uh, into the um, I think it's a coffee jar lid. Uh, the reason being is I'm going to be frisky and I'm going to use some more epoxy resin. Now I won't go into full details with this because you'll have seen it in my last video. Hopefully, if you haven't, please like and subscribe and check out the last video. Uh, but it's parts A and B, equal amounts, throw it into container, stir it for about three minutes, add some paint and uh, then pour it into whatever you're going to do and uh, hope for the best that there's no leaks. There wasn't no leaks. So we'll just do a quick montage of me pouring the uh, epoxy resin, mixing it all together, uh, adding the paint and then throwing this into the uh, coffee lid simply because this is going to be the engine for the back of the spaceship. Left that for 24 hours and then I hope for the best and nothing had leaked. Um, took out the bubbles using my... Um, um, gas lighter thing uh, flamethrower I don't know what it is uh, took out all the bubbles did that a few times during the process of the first six hours and then uh, everything was uh, solid no leaks and the lights actually worked so now what I'm going to do is just hit everything with uh, Mod Podge just gonna paint all that on just so it's all nice and hard getting it ready for the painting which will be just a rattle can of black and then I'm going to hit it with grey and then I'm going to hit it with a highlight of white and I just want to give a shout out to Morgan's Creations when I sent him a random text to let him know that my airbrush wasn't working I never did text you back sorry dude anyway on to the glamour shots
You know, I still don't know where George went. It's very strange that he's not been about and not even been in the video. Uh, hang on, what's this? Need George to help on a mission. Look after the kid while I'm gone. M. Who the hell is M? What the... Who the... Uh, Grogu? What? 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 Uh, 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 u